What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an A1 title block in Revit. Okay, so let's get started. So let's select new from the families and then we are going to open the title blocks folder and then we will be using the A1 metric template. Family template files, A1 metric and then just select open. Okay, so I'm gonna use this size A1 and then of course, when you create your title block, you should have already the sizes ready or the standard uh, sizes or distances of the boundaries that you will be uh, using to create your title block. So this is just the first part of our title block uh, family. So I'm going to show you how to create the boundary using the line tools. Okay, so the first thing that you will notice if you're going to click this line here, it will tell you that that is your title block uh, subcategory. Okay, so you also have here other subcategories such as uh, invisible lines, medium lines, thin lines, or wide lines. Okay, so you can change the subcategory of your default title block. So let's say, for example, uh, I just want this to be thin lines. So you can select all these lines and then you can change the subcategory. So you can change that to thin lines, okay, or medium lines. So there is a difference, of course, between the medium lines, thin lines, wide lines, invisible lines, or the title box. So like, for example, if it is medium lines, you just zoom in and then uncheck your thin lines to turn it off. So as you can see, there's the uh, line weight. So if I change this to uh, wide lines, so it's going to be like that. So thicker line weight and, of course, the thin lines. And then you can also change that to an invisible line. But for this exercise, I'll just leave it as it is. I'll just use um, title block subcategory here. So now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create the, the margin. Okay. So let's say, for example, on our standard, in our CAD uh, title block, the distance that we use for the margin is 21 mm. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select here create and then after that i'm just going to use here the line tool just click the line tool and then use the peak lines tool so for the subcategory so i'm gonna change this to medium lines so i select medium lines and then using the peak lines option i'm gonna change the offset to 21 okay and then i'm going to hover my pointer and then press tab once until it highlights all the sides and then you click to place your uh, margin. All right, and then after that, just select your modify and there you go. So there's our uh, medium line. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna do is, let's say for example, I want my labels to be uh, vertical. So I want that to be somewhere here to this side and I'm going to create another series of lines using uh, medium lines okay so let's start i'm gonna select create line tools and then i'm gonna use the peak lines again i'll just use the medium lines for this one so for the offset so let's say um i want a 3 mm from this line here there you go that's my medium line. And then after that, I'm going to create another one to the side. Okay, so same line, peak lines, um, three. And then I'm going to pick here. There you go. Okay, and then I'm going to offset that newly created line to 100. So using the peak lines, Offset, I'm going to change this to 100 and then I'm going to offset this line here like that. Okay. Right, and then after that, I'm going to offset again 3mm and then I'm going to pick to that side. And there you have it. And then I'm going to select here, uh, modify. Now I just need to clear up the corners here. So I'm going to use the trim extent to corner or you can type TR. 
and then we are going to clean up the corners just like that and like this okay so now the next thing that we're going to do so we are going to offset this line below so let's say the distance that I would like based on our previous title block is 79 and then I'm going to offset it here and then again 3mm okay like that there you go and then modify now I'm going to split this part here split tool so I'm going to split using the trim extent to corner so I'm going to clean up the corner just unjoin the elements if you see this um, error just unjoin and then just clear okay and then split again I think you get the idea and then trim from here oops so TR so from here to here unjoin from here to here there you go Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to offset another lines. So modify um, again lines, peak lines. So this time I'm going to offset it 146. This line here below like that. Click and there you go. And then after that I'm going to offset this line to 5 mm and there you go I'm just using here my um, medium line subcategory okay right and then again we need to clean up the corners here so I'm gonna use uh, split element you can type SL for the shortcut and then you can now trim it trim extend to corner trim extend to corner Okay, and there you go. Okay, so let's say, for example, this is where I want to put some uh, uh, key plan, for example, and then this area here in notes or vice versa. Here's your notes. You can still adjust this boundary, so it's up to you. Okay, so this is just my title block. And let's say, for example, for this next area that I'm working on, I want to create here a revision schedule. Okay, so that's why what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset another line here. So using the line tool, what I'm going to do for this line, I'm going to right click this and then I'm going to add that to the quick access toolbar to put it here because I always use the line so that if ever I'm on modify tab, I just need to select the line here instead of going to the create tab and then selecting the line there. Okay, so I'll just click the line. And then again, peak lines, let's specify the offset from the options bar, uh, 113. So I'm going to offset this line below. There you go. Okay. And then I'll select here, modify. Okay. So now after this area will going to be the placement of my revision schedule later on, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Okay. But for now, so the, what we are working on is only the boundary of our or skeleton of our uh, A1 title block. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is for the uh, some labels here below. So I'm going to use again the line tool, uh, peak lines, offset. So let's say I want a 15 mm offset distance. So I'm going to offset like this. And then uh, 15 again. There you go. And then another offset of um, 25. So I'm going to offset from there. There you go. All right. And then I'll select your modify. So I'm going to clean up this area here. So I'm going to use um, trim extend single element. So I'm going to click this line and then I'm going to click this one. I'm going to click this line. I'm going to click this one. There you go. So this is where I'm going to put some label uh, later on. Okay, and then let's say, for example, just below, I want to include here the logo of the company. Okay, so I'm going to offset another uh, line from there. So like, for example, 25 again. 
So peak lines, uh, 25. Okay, so I'm going to offset below. There you go. So let's say this is where I want to put the, the logo of the company. And then the next thing is the project name. Okay, so using the same tool. So I'm going to offset it by uh, 40. So let's say this is where I want to put the project and also the title. Okay, so the project name and then the title. Just like that. Okay, so this will going to be the location of my project name, the title of the sheet. And let's say, for example, I also want to include the name of the client. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, offset distance of 25. So I'm going to put here and there you go. Okay, so that will going to be the placement for my client. And then for the next space here, I'm going to put here, let's say, the drawn by initial, check by initial, and then the date. That's why I'm going to offset it uh, 12. So place it there. And then I'm going to do some division between the drawn by, the check by, and then the, the date. Okay, so uh, using the peak lines, I'll be using here 33. There you go, and then uh, about 37, and there you go, okay? And then using the trim extend single element, so I'm going to use this line again. There you go, there you go, there you go. Okay, and then I'm going to offset another 12 mm. Line, peak lines, uh, 12 mm. So put it here. So let's say for that uh, space, I want to put there the scale and then the project number. So I'm going to offset uh, about, about 50. So 50. So from there. Okay. And then let's trim that again. There you go. Okay, so drawn by, checked by, the date, and then the scale here, and then the project number. And then let's say here below, that's going to be the drawing number, and then the revision somewhere here. So I'm going to offset another line. So let's say another uh, 15 offset. So peak lines, 15 offset. So from here, there you go. And then let's trim that, trim. All right, and then I'll just select here, modify. Okay, and then what else? So we also need to offset the uh, 3mm here, 3mm line. So peak lines, uh, three here. Okay, and then let's uh, trim extend to corner. like that okay there you go and that's it okay so this is now the boundary of my title blocks so this is the first part of this exercise wherein we created the boundary the location of the placement uh, the location of the 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 labels like your logo uh, revision schedule, drawn by, checked by, okay, the labels, the detail of your title block. Okay, so in our next video, I'm going to show you how to place text and labels to your title block. But for now, hopefully this helps you. If this helps you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.